Hi folks, welcome back to Learn From Dad. I'm James. Today we're out in the garage and we're gonna talk about hardware and specifically nuts and bolts and how do you figure out what size they are? And now why do I care? If I have a lawnmower or something in my house or on my vehicle and suddenly there's a bolt missing or a nut missing, you have to figure out what size it is so that you can get the proper replacement. The last thing you wanna do is take a metric nut and an SAE or standard bolt and try to thread those together and run yourself into a problem. So let's take a look at how do we size bolts and make sure that I can get the proper one if I have to do a replacement. Okay, so let's take a look at some bolts and try to identify what the size of these are based on the three different parameters that you use to figure out a bolt. Now, before you start measuring, just like I showed in a previous video, it's always good to figure out, is this an SAE or standard bolt or is it metric? And just a brief reminder, the metric bolts are going to have some kind of a number dot number on the, the head of them, such as 8.8 .8 or 10.9 or 12.9. And on an SAE or standard bolt, you're, depending on the grade, whether it's two, five, eight, or maybe it's ungraded, You'll either see no dashes, you'll see three, or you'll see six. You might see some other letters and numbers. They're challenging. Go watch that other video and get a better understanding, but that's a good starting point. Now, when you're talking about a bolt, there's three things that we care about. Number one is the bolt length, which is from underneath the bolt head to the bolt tip. So that is going to be your bolt length. And then we care about the diameter of the bolt. So from outer thread to outer thread, that is going to be the diameter measurement. And then we care about the threads themselves. And this is where you start to get some variance between metric and standard bolts. So this is a standard bolt. I've got my three dashes on the head. So this is a grade five. So in a standard bolt, it's measured by the number of threads in one inch. So if we were to take our caliper and we measured out one inch, if we just get it rough here, right there, however many threads fit within that inch, that's threads per inch on a standard bolt. Now, when it comes to a metric bolt, it's a little different. What they reference is from thread edge to thread edge, what is that distance? So you may see something like a one millimeter or you may see a 1.25 millimeter. So if we were to take our caliper and change it over to millimeters and we spaced out from thread to thread, and I'm not sure what this one is, we're just guessing, but it sure looks like it's a 1.25. Now, those are the three measurements you have. So if I don't know whether it's a metric or standard, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage because let's take, for example, measuring the diameter of these bolts. So this one does happen to be the metric bolt and I measure the diameter and I see it's just under 12 millimeters. So this would be an M12 bolt. Now, slight rounding error and depending on how tight I pull on it, but 12 millimeters. If I grab this bolt, which is a standard, and I get the edges of it, you see I'm at a 12.48. So there's quite a bit more variance, but if you didn't know any better, you could say, well, this might be a 12 millimeter bolt. Well, it's not because three dashes, that's a standard bolt. So it is always good to check the bolt head first as a starting point. Now, most people are not going to physically measure a bolt, rather there's other devices you can use to physically check and see what the, the thread size is to determine whether it's a metric or a standard. But before we go there, one additional thing I wanted to show is I commonly get asked, well, is that a, a fine thread bolt or is that a coarse thread bolt? Now, these two bolts are the same physical diameter. Uh, these are standard bolts that dashes on the heads. I believe these were three eighths maybe. But if you look at the threads and the number of threads per inch, there's a significantly greater amount of threads per inch here on this black bolt than this kind of silverish colored galvanized bolt here. So this galvanized colored bolt would definitely be referred to as a coarse thread, and this would be a fine thread. But at the end of the day, 
what we really care about if we're measuring it is the number of threads per inch. Now the reality is most people are not gonna measure a bolt like this, it's fascinating to know it. Rather, what you're gonna do is if you lose a bolt, you're gonna walk into your local hardware store most likely, and on that hardware store, they might have some devices like these, which these are my own personal ones that I bought because I work with a lot of hardware. They have some that are more of a plate style, but it's very common that in the hardware section, there's gonna be some kind of device to check the bolt and, and even the nut potentially and what size it is. Um, I've worked with a lot of these. These are my favorite ones. I'll put the link in the description. And I bought them because I have thousands of bolts. And if I'm going to figure out what the size is, number one, I already know that this is a standard bolt. So I can use my standard thread checker and I can go along here and figure out which one does it fit in. So let's go up one size where it's wrong. So it's 7 16 by 14, it's a little too big. I drop down to 3 8 by 16 and you see it just perfectly fits and threads in. Now, the reason I like these ones in particular is because not only does it have threading like a nut where I can spin a bolt into, but it's got threading like a bolt where I can spin a nut onto, which identifying the sizes of a nut, which are very small, you can't easily count the threads per inch, super handy. So there's a good example. Now, if I take that same bolt that was the fine thread and I come over here, you see I have 3 8 by 24 and I can thread that bolt right in. Now, similarly with metric hardware, so I got a 10.9 stamped on the head, so I know that's metric hardware. Come over here, figure out which ones are gonna fit into. Well, it's not an M10, too small. I've got multiple sizes of M12s. So there's M12-1.25, 1.5, and 1.75. So again, that's the spacing between thread to thread. So let's figure out which one it goes into. So it looks like it's an M12 by 1.75. I try to put it in the M12 by 1.5. It starts, but it stops. It's, it's snug, that's too small a threading. So these things are a lifesaver and helps you organize bolts and figure out quickly what size it is. Now, somebody's probably also gonna say, well, James, can't you take those same bolts and use a thread checker, special tool to figure out what that threading is? Absolutely you can, but the normal person's not gonna have that. You're better off going to your local hardware store or having a tool that you can very easily see dimensional or diameter size as well as threading. But let's take a look at least how it works. So here you can see we have the same bolts that we were just measuring, which were 3 8 by 16 and 3 8 by 24. So 16 threads per inch or 24 threads per inch. So if I wanted to use a thread checker, which this one happens to be for threads per inch, I've got, I know the diameter of my bolt based on the measurement and the shank length. Now to determine the threads per inch, I've got different paddles that I can rotate out and try to test and see. So I'm gonna ch check three here. So I'm gonna check 15, 16, and 18, which are the three that are in alignment. Now, if I put 15 in here, you can see that it doesn't quite sit right. It rocks. It won't sit down in the threading. If I take and put 16 in here, it matches perfectly doesn't rock back and forth, and it fits snugly, just like it's supposed to. If I take 18 threads per inch, same thing. I can't get it to physically sit down in. So what that tells me is this particular bolt is 16 threads per inch. So that's how it works using a thread checker. If you don't have one, never seen one, or in your lifetime, don't worry about it. I've had this for years, and I have never used it. I pulled it out just to do this video specifically. I know how it works but I use my other thread checker extensively, unless you're working in hardware or hydraulic fittings all the time, something like this just isn't gonna be worth your time, but now you know. Little bonus pro tip for you. I found these bins on Amazon years ago. They've got these dividers that can slide in if you want to. Awesome way to keep hardware organized if you're like me and have a significant amount of it. I'll drop the link in the description below. So there you have it, folks. Now you know how to properly size a bolt. Remember that it's all about the bolt length, the bolt diameter, and then the threads, whether it's 
threads per inch on an SAE bolt or whether it's the thread to thread measurement on a metric bolt. So stick around, come back for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified when the next new video comes out. Drop comments, love to hear from you. Let me know what else you'd like to learn about. Don't forget, tell your friends I learned from dad. Thanks.